And now, Daniel Morris, please. <laughs> Cartier Bresson. Uh, I suppose the whole point of him was that his pictures were candid pictures. They weren't posed. That's right, yeah. He was the first photographer who really adopted that style to capture the moments that he, that he wanted to get. And did it without cropping, because we had one of the questions, didn't we, about cropping pictures. He didn't do the work in, in the dark room afterwards. No, that's right. I mean, he had a lifelong aversion to any of the photographic processes. He just took the pictures and that was it. He was an artist first and foremost and uh, was insistent on capturing the image that he wanted at the moment of pressing the shutter. And if that wasn't good, good enough at the time, then that wasn't good enough. Now, the word artist. Yes. Controversial in the context of photography, isn't it? Some people say, no, all you're doing is going click and... That's true. Certainly somebody like Cartier-Bresson, they are an artist. I mean, he was a painter first and foremost. That was his first love and actually retired from photography reasonably early, uh, despite his fame, uh, to go back to painting. And I, I think a lot of the rules that apply to painting in terms of composition and uh, perspective and texture, and they, they apply to photography, photography equally as they do to, uh, to painting. And, um, you know, there's something magical about a, a really, truly great photo photograph in the same way that there's something magical about a great painting. That's true. Well, you have 13 points so far with your knowledge of Cartier-Bresson. Let's see how you do with general knowledge. Two minutes, starting now. What's the usual name for the tower of a mosque from which the court of prayer is given? Pass. During a speech made in 1981, which politician said of his father he did not riot, he got on his bike and looked for work? Norman Tebbit. Yes, which private detective was played by Richard Roundtree in a 1971 film and again 2000 film of the same title in which Samuel L. Jackson starred as his nephew? Shaft. Yes, in ancient Rome, what name was given to the officials elected by the plebeians to defend their rights? Senators. Tribunes. In late 1943, which American general was appointed as the supreme commander of the Allied Expeditionary Force in Europe? Dwight Eisenhower? Yes. What was the name of the artist who lived from 1864 to 1901, particularly remembered for his depictions of the bohemian life of Montmartre? Toulouse the Trek? Correct. The Soe, which is native to an island of the same name in the Outer Hebrides, is an ancient species of which common farm animal? Cow. Sheep. Which Premiership Rugby Union team have played home games at Vicarage Road in Watford since 1997? Saracens. Correct. Who wrote The Three Musketeers, first published in 1844? Pass. What collective name is given to chemical elements whose atomic number is greater than that of uranium? Pass. John Blackthorne, the pilot of the ship Erasmus, is the hero of which best-selling novel by James Clavell set in Japan? Shogun. Yes, John Sullivan took the name of which television sitcom from the title of an episode in his earlier series, Citizen Smith? Only Fools and Horses? Correct. What word acquired its present meaning in 1516 when it was used to identify the area of Venice to which the Jewish community were restricted? Ghetto. Yes. In sailing, what name is given to a short length of rope used to fasten a boat to its mooring? Pass. Which hormone secreted in the pancreas was first isolated in 1921 by the Canadian scientists Frederick Banting and Charles Best? Insulin. Yes. How is the former Oasis guitarist Paul Arthurs better known? Bonehead. Yes. Uh, what is the value of the playing card that's referred to as a deuce? Two. Yes. The natural herbal remedy, Hypericum perforatum, which is often used to treat depression, is commonly known by what name that includes that of a famous saint? St John's Wort. St John's Wort is correct. Four passes. It's a painter that you used to fasten the boat to the mooring. Transuranic elements, those chemical elements. Dumas wrote The Three Musketeers. And the Tower of the Mosque is the Minaret. You have, Daniel Morrish, 25 points. <laughs> and now Ian Valente, please. Metallica started up in 1981, still going strong. Yeah, they're uh, impressively successful, aren't they? Because? I suppose they were leaders in the field. They moved into an American music market that was just rock market anyway, that was just over-bloated and injected a lot of energy into it following on from the British sort of new wave of metal in the late 70s. Yeah, because they've gone through a, a, a different a progression, really, of playing different sorts of music over the years. Yeah, I suppose in the 80s they were leading the field in thrash metal, but then... They What's sort of, thrash metal? How would you describe it? Energetic, aggressive, just... Railing against the world, but living loud, life. Mm. I imagine. Very loud, yeah. Very loud. loud and fast. Loud Faster and than fast anybody else. And, and angry and all that. Right, so they went through the angry stage. But yeah, there were also, there were, as well as thrashing the guitars, there were technically gifted musicians, which gave them the edge over many bands as well. And that, they were head and shoulders above the rest. And with that, 
they had a bassist who was classically trained. He took them onto new levels, um, chord structures, and they just moved on into a whole commercial phase which had a lot of mass appeal. Right, you have 13 points and you have to beat the score of 25. Let's see if you can do it. Here we go with general knowledge. The climax to which epic film sees the title character compete in a chariot race against his boyhood friend Masala, which results in Masala's death? Ben-Hur. Yes, which island was discovered in the 10th century by Eric the Red, who gave it a name that convinced many Icelanders to move there in search of a better life? Greenland. Correct. In golf, what name's given to a score of three strokes under par at any hole? Albatross. Yes, which vigorous member of the Cypress family that's widely used to form hedges and windbreaks grows so fast that it can add four feet to its height in a typical year? Lelandia. Yes, the name of which English county is derived from its former status as part of the Kingdom of the East Saxons, which was established in the late 6th century? Essex. Yes, in February 2007, Anne-Sophie Peake became the first female French chef since 1951 to earn which distinction? Mich one star. How many? Three. Correct. Who had a hit with the song Kiss from a Rose, which was featured on the soundtrack of the film Batman Forever? Seal. Yes, the most distant object visible to the naked eye is a great spiral galaxy in which constellation more than two million light years away from Earth? Andromeda. Correct. What is the common term for the Chinese therapeutic technique of stylostixis? Acupuncture. Yes, the prison near the village of Ossining in New York State is known by what name? San Quentin? Sing Sing. In the television series Star Trek, which character's mother is Amanda Grayson, a school teacher from Earth? Spock. Yes. Sir Ernest Shackleton and two of his companions were the first people to cross which island in 1916 in search of help to rescue the other members of his ill fated trans Antarctic expedition? South Georgia? Correct. A line in the song Waltz in Matilda mentions a cooler bar. What is a cooler bar? A bird. No, it's a gum tree or eucalyptus. In 1948, who was elected as the first Prime Minister of the State of Israel? Golda Meir. David Ben-Gurion. Which writer born in Gdansk was the author of The Tin Drum? He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1999. Hesse. Gunter Grass. What name is given to the square cap worn by Roman Catholic clergy, which is of different colours according to the person's rank? Mitre. Sorry? Mitre. No, Beretta is the answer. You had no passes. Ian Valenti, you have 24 points.